Hello ladies and gentle nerds, my name is Deloop and welcome back to Factorio Megabase Season 2. This is episode 22. Yes, 20, 23, sorry. Episode 23. We have a throughput issues here with our iron. Now one of the things that I did fix it is this, this furnace here will actually support with the steel furnaces. Assuming I can get the iron in, it will fill one red belt. And uh, currently... I'm not getting enough iron in to fill the belt, and part of the reason is that this all needs to be upgraded to red belt. Can I beat the train? Three, two, one. I'm not going to do it. Maybe if I, like, saved right before. <laughs> but, yeah, I need red belt. And then uh, that iron is slowly catching up, and we can actually uh, fill, get a full red belt out of it, which means that we can actually get two yellow belts out of it. Um, and the yellow belts, we, I can run down, or red, whatever. Basically, I can get two main lines off of one furnace. Yay. <clears throat> so I designed it, so it's one, two, three, four furnaces. Four furnaces, and each one will produce one red belt, so that's four red belts. And then uh, four of these will produce four belts. So yeah, I, I've spaced it out enough for four, uh, four red belts red belts. When we get to blue belt, we have a new furnace design that we'll use um, by that point anyways. So yeah, we don't need much more than that. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. I need splitters. Give me a couple splitters. My inventory is a disaster. A tornado went through it, apparently. Beautiful. Look at that iron flowing in. That means the furnaces will now pump out more resources for our goodness. So, currently, as it is now, it can support two belts. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make that happen by uh, putting in a splitter here and running our second belt in. Which means that throughput will be no longer an issue. So we're getting as much iron out of one furnace setup as we can instead of building another one. Whoa, train! <laughs> This is a horrible spot to put a train. Who put a train here? Whoever designed this is an idiot. Oh my god, I'm so glad I didn't get plastered right there. I've, I've been hit a couple of times by the trains um, in my, my stream base, on stream and everything. And it, it's horrible. It's a horrible feeling being hit by a train. Splitters! Give me more, give me more! Don't craft them actually. Hang on, circuits! Give me more, give me more! Circuits! There we are. Now give me splitters. You can craft the gears, I don't I don't care. Give me uh, at least... Oh. Yeah, just do that. That way I get them a little bit quicker. There we have it. And these is just so the lanes stay balanced. Look at beautiful. Now, as you can see, this is probably not designed right. Because now I need to move this over. That needs to come through. There needs to be a splitter here. And then this would come down. Then a splitter here. And then same idea with this. It needs to come over. Splitter there. And then just run it in. Just keep on moving all over these lines, and when I add another line in, I'll have to do this every time, unfortunately. Give me one more. Come on. Go ahead and I'm going to need more than that. Just keep keep crafting. Beautiful. Look at that. Iron is backed up. We have iron flowing into our circuits. Whoa. I killed the power. <laughs> Where did I kill the power at? Power. <laughs> that that might help to actually build inserters. So the idea was that uh, I'd fix the iron. I needed more iron to actually fix the inserter production. Now copper is still an issue, and that's not because uh, we don't have enough furnace. That's because we just don't have enough ore coming in. <coughs> but as you can see, we, we now have 25% going into each thing instead of 50%, which means that more iron is actually getting through. Yay, throughput fixed. Somewhat. I mean, it's it's still still hurting. Uh, what I could do is upgrade this main line to get get 
just keep it flowing a little bit. Better. And we're at a belt. Ugh. Need more belt. Go ahead and grab it all. Go ahead and have uh, this. Have it. Now I unhooked the yellow belt because, uh, as you can see, we have a bunch of full chests. That'll that'll last us a while, and then once uh, once I actually run out of yellow belt, then I'll hook it back in. Uh, I figured I might as well burn what I have, and and only. I kind of stockpiled a lot. More than I need. We need more underground belt than that. More iron. Takes forever to craft prerequisite stuff like gears. Go ahead and keep upgrading. I'll come back for that underground belt there basically just doing whatever I can to improve this throughput here. And by upgrading the belt, that means more throughput. Now technically one furnace cannot support two full red belts. It just doesn't work that way. Um, so I will need another furnace, but we'll worry about that when the time comes because uh, currently I just don't have the resources for it. Simply do not have the resources to upgrade it. Which means this blueprint is now mm, kaput. Because <laughs> speaking of kaput, it's a very interesting debate on uh, Colonel Will's stream today about the word kaput and how bad it just sounds. It's just a horrible word, apparently. Nobody likes it. <laughs> and everyone was talking about what kaput really means and all that good stuff. So it was kind of an interesting. It was an interesting talk. The only thing that needs to move is this. Uh, this coal line needs to move. Which is going to be kind of a pain in the butt to move. Today is just going to be all about just moving stuff around, pretty much. Let's uh, bring it to there. <coughs> Which means I can bring this in. And uh, there we go. So uh, now this furnace should fit. Um, and then I'll worry about routing materials in when the time comes. So I'm going to stamp it down and then let the robots build what they have the resources for and just funnel my resources into it. I go ahead and have those, have these, have these, have the inserters. Like, just build as much as you can just for now. Now, what are you missing? Well, uh, it's missing uh, construction bots, but that's all right. They'll They'll eventually get it done. Uh, we need wooden chests, and uh, believe it or not, I don't have the wood for it. Let me go grab some, and on our way back down, we'll upgrade that red belt. Oh, you know what I just realized? I put my red belt in that chest. I don't want to run back over there. It takes so, like, honestly, uh, it takes so long to run anywhere, it feels. Like, after having that power armor, it kind of spoils you a little bit. <clears throat> there we go, let the iron flow. What are you missing? Inserters, red inserters, yellow belt. Ah, yellow belt because of the, um, grab some of that. What else? Regular inserters and long-handed. That's a hundred regular inserters. Let's grab more iron. Slow paced game at, during the beginning. I want to cancel all of that. Oh, you know what? Uh, do I have gears in here waiting? Yes, I do, but my inventory's full again. Love chest! Have fun with that. Okay. Let's make like, how much do I need? Tw only 23. And so another some steel furnaces, uh, and then I'll grab whatever inserters are here. All right, so those will craft up while I run these inserters up. I probably won't have enough because I have 50. No, I will. I have 60. I have exactly enough to get this up and running, and then we'll feed the iron in. So keep a lookout for trains. 
make sure I know where it is at all times. So I put the resources in in this chest so they can build. <clears throat> hey guys, I brought you some belt. I brought you some inserters. Some of these. What else you need? Some steel furnaces. Some more chests. Oh man, I forgot to grab chests while I was down there. Well, uh, let's actually upgrade these to steel chests. They still have their limits, so that'll be all right. Yay! How much red belt do I have on me? Not enough. That's that's a shame. Go ahead and upgrade that that half. <laughs> Why not? Uh, did I actually throw in a bunch of red belt in here? No, just a bunch of yellow. What else are you missing? Red belt. I need more red belt. Let's go get it. Slow. Running is slow. I know I keep complaining about it. But uh, I just need resources to get more... More resources. Like, I need iron and, and copper to get more... Uh, get more roboports going and I need more roboports to to build stuff quicker and to move resources around and then I need uh, speed modules and stuff for the armor speaking of why don't we start researching stuff for the armor because uh, I want all that that good armor stuff and one of the things that you need is uh... where is it all so I'm like gonna skip I'm just gonna go straight to the mark two which is expensive the Mark II Power Armor. It takes five efficiency module threes, five speed module threes, forty processing units. I'm probably just gonna aim straight for this. Um, so I need alien tech, which requires rocketry, which requires explosives and flammables. Either way, we're we're a long way off from uh, actually getting that armor. Okay, so it looks like they've actually finished building somewhat. Um, they're missing some belt, so I'll go ahead and just give them a stack. Go ahead and finish building, please. Uh, now we can just feed the iron in, which is pretty simple. I think I'll have the iron going in to make it easy. Need more splitters. I'm just going to run the coal in this side. Oops. Which means I need an underground belt here. Means I actually might want an underground belt. Okay, so the iron's gonna come in here. There we go. That means I actually have to upgrade this now to red to actually get that throughput to fill the red belt. Worrying about compressed belts all the time, right? You always want to try and compress your belts, is m getting as much throughput out of them as possible. <clears throat> but uh, these furnaces should start kicking on now and, and outputting more iron for us, which means that I can uh, upgrade this. Bring this in. Have that running in there, actually, no. Well, I'll do this. There we have it. Even loads. Let the iron flow. Look how much iron we're getting through now with two furnaces. Yes, that'll work. Copper. Well, the issue here is just not enough copper. I'm going to have to build a new outpost. Question is, how is our power doing? Pretty damn good. I upgraded it. I don't know if I showed you guys. It was a couple episodes ago. Big ol' upgrade over there. So these don't quite output a full red belt, but that's alright. I'm going to go ahead and merge these. Make sure they're, they're balanced from the start. They should be, like, just because they're the same design, but you never know. Yeah, I don't quite get a full red belt out of these furnaces. 
Which is a shame, but it, it's it's all right. But look at like all that resource flow is fantastic. It's exactly what we need. There's all this iron coming in. The next step is the copper. Uh, we're gonna need to build a copper outpost somewhere. Uh, I was thinking way the f hell out here. We'll run two trains for this, I think. Build it right here. Cause this is a um, only two trains because it's so far away. Actually, two trains is probably a bit overkill because I just can't move all that resource around. <clears throat> Maybe once I have blue belt, it's not, but yeah, for now it is. And uh, we're seeing bottlenecks here. I forgot to upgrade some spots. Let's get more splitters. Don't craft all those, please. Give me circuits. See, I can't wait till I have robots up and running because then I can just have them feed me circuits and whatever else I need. You have them feed you a little bit of, pre of the, uh, the circuits and gears just to keep you, like, have a stack on you at all time. And then they'll, they'll keep it stocked for you. Beautiful, look at it. Um, so now we're, we're pumping out stuff that we need. We, we have enough iron to feed everything. Uh, next step, copper. So, uh, what are you doing? Are you, did you built five and it's missing red circuits and that's because just red circuits cannot keep up which is all right I guess that's fine okay next thing I forgot uh, we should probably switch back on the logistics bots instead of construction bots because that's probably enough construction bots for the time being let's turn on logistics bots we can actually start getting a logistics network up and running. Um, so let me grab these and start mapping this out. So the f very first thing that I want is this these two chests here covered. And and this is going to be fairly spread out at first. For those of you wondering how to ghost like that, it's shift click. Uh, and then we'll we'll just run it out here. <clears throat> five might not be enough either that or it's going to be barely enough but this is the very start of the logistics network alright there we have it okay so the next thing we need is to power them and that's as simple as using power big power poles let's go ahead and do that we grab more of these. Ah, steel. Not enough steel. Well, uh, next off, uh, what I need to do is... Ah, steel. I need more steel. Just said that. I know, but... <laughs> we really need more steel. So let's come grab some. Look at the belt lag right there. Like, watch as it hits the red belt, it speeds up, and it's got this... It's, like, kind of cool. It spreads everything out. It's not, I mean, it's cool, but it sucks at the same time. So we want an active provider, and we want two active providers, two requesters, and a couple of storage chests. Then we want some big power poles. So the storage chests we want in our network somewhere. And typically what you do is you put them in a central location, so it's like right in the center. Right now that central location's here-ish, like that's where I'm going to put them. Um, and we'll, those will be moved eventually to a bigger storage area. Okay, so now all we need to do is run the power to our RoboPorts. More. More power poles, please. Where am I taking this one? This will just go right here. Okay, as you can see, they now have power. Now, what I was going to do with these requesters, requesters is uh, this will request in barrels. Okay, so we got barrels, empty barrels here. This will request in, say, 50 barrels. Then this is going to be my passive, my active provider. Sorry, my passive provider. Passive provider. Now, the what passive providers do is they will only provide their resources to the logistics network if something asks for it. Active providers are like 
they tell the robots, come remove whatever. I always keep this chest empty. I always want it empty. So the reason I made passive providers here, or, uh, sorry, active providers, is because now I can put this down for the barrels and it'll keep them in storage or in the other area it'll always keep this empty which is what I want and this is gonna just request in 20 uh, lube okay so now all we need to do is get our robots into our network and uh, the fun the most fun way to do this is to uh, run around with them and they will funnel themselves into roboports and go where they need to go so as you can see these barrels are being hauled all the way over here empty barrels they these guys will have to recharge in a couple spots let's go ahead and uh, up up the speed no we can't do that because uh, we don't have alien science packs yet so we need alien technology for that so we need rocketry which requires explosives so uh, let's get on that then uh, what we need to do is we need to kind of bum rush uh, productivity modules. We need productivity th module threes for uh, <clears throat> for that. And these are expensive little things, right? So they take five uh, five red circuits, five green circuits, and then you can't see it, but the, the other ones take more than that even. But uh, we're going to rush those so that we can conserve our alien science packs. Alright, now as you can see, the robots are coming in. And there it dispatches a robot, it picks up a barrel of lube, and it takes it to where it needs to go. It'll take it up to the, uh, I have one more roboport. I want to I wanna map this, put this in here somewhere. Let me just put this in. Roboport, where are you? And then I'll plug it into power. So that'll help with them charging. <coughs> So now they'll uh, they'll continually funnel in the lubricant for my uh, for building more robots. Now right now our logistics network is about as small as it can get. I mean this is it's going to get a lot bigger. Um, but it is time for me to end up that episode the episode guys. As you can see I'm I'm just continually crafting these robots. Uh, the best way to check how many robots you have in the network is an active provider. So these here, uh, if you mouse over them, it'll tell you how many you have. And I've got currently, no, I can't see. Sorry, you need a like requester or storage chest. So mouse over the storage chest, and I can see I've got 268 logistics robots, zero construction robots. That's because all my construction robots are in a chest. Okay, so uh, next episode we're gonna get on building that uh, copper outpost. There's a couple of things that I need to do to uh, get that up and running, but uh, we'll figure that out next episode. Thank you all for watching. My name has been Deloop, and I'll see you next time.